Good evening, everyone. So I'm gonna start off this video with a quick grocery haul. I just went to the grocery store. That is the only thing that brings me joy right now at the moment, going grocery shopping, of course. But that's why I can never do like, you know, delivery, grocery delivery or stuff like that. I like picking my own stuff. And I like looking at, you know, the, the nutritional facts, seeing which one to get. So I can never be someone that orders delivery I like doing it myself so I'm about to do a quick grocery haul I'll share what I bought for probably the next coming weeks so none of this stuff I think is gonna be used at the moment maybe some of it but anyway let's get started all right so first off I went to Aldi I only got one thing I actually wanted to get a couple of things from Aldi but they have nothing so these are the keto friendly halo halloumi I'm probably mispronouncing that Halloumi? Halloumi style cheese sticks. Um, and they're like, they're just cheese sticks. I am gonna freeze it. I'm hoping that's okay. But I'm not gonna use them now, but they're an Aldi fine, meaning that they're not a permanent item. So that's why I picked it up. I'm gonna put them in the freezer, hope for the best. <laughs> but I'm gonna use it when I make like a honey mustard chicken and um, have that as like, this as like a side. But I'm not doing keto. This is just something I wanted to try. Uh, sorry for the washing machine. I just put a load in. They silly me, you know, when I wanted to film. But anyways, I actually wanted to also get the keto chocolate chip cookies. Uh, I do try to stay away from added sugar. I actually was watching a couple of videos from this YouTuber named Slave City. It's like by Bobby Parrish. Goes to the grocery store. And he looks at the nutritional facts and, you know, he it says the best recommendations for items. And it really made me think about, like, how much added sugar I actually am eating and consuming. So I usually try to avoid added sugar. And watching those videos made me realize just how much added sugar I still am drinking or eating. For example, I had the Health Aid kombucha this morning. Not all of it, but some of it. And I think I have, like, 11 grams of added sugar. And I never you know i never thought of that i just thought it was like regular sugars you know in the um flavorings so and also the chobani too chobani has a ton of added sugar so i'm trying to really look at the nutritional facts when i buy things i mean there's gonna be probably some items i'm like whatever i'm just gonna get it but i'm really you know trying to examine added sugars and things like that so that's where the cookie keto cookies come in they don't have any added sugars uh and i just really wanted to try it but they didn't have any and i'm very upset but that's okay uh, i'm gonna try going again on saturday morning since i have to be up early on saturday anyway so hopefully they do have it i'll let you guys know if they do or don't uh, so back to the grocery. The only thing I got at Aldi were the cheese fries. Um, and next, my wonderful large bag. I actually, I went to school in Connecticut, so Yukon, and this was at some event that I got it from, which I love. It's beautiful, big grocery tote. Um, so all this stuff is from Market Basket, of course. My Market Basket, my go-to. And as you all know, every grocery haul I seem to get this. I actually have like a fairly newish loaf in the fridge but I'm gonna put this one in the fridge as well it's because I really liked it look at that it's so nice and fresh and clean <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this in the fridge I put bread out and just leave it on the counter but I'm not I'm, I never was like that I never was raised like that so I'm just gonna refrigerate that next up I have some shaved steak and I'm gonna be making those uh, quesadillas I made before. Um, not next week, but I think in two weeks. So I'm gonna use that. I didn't get any green peppers though, but I will in the next grocery haul. Next up, receipt. So I spent $31.16 at the basket. Anyways, so I got another sugar free Jello Dole. The dolce de leche, <laughs> however you spell it. Uh, I mean, it's not the cleanest of ingredients, so this is what I was talking about. But it doesn't have any added sugar, so you know, obviously since it's sugar free. But you can see they have, you know, all this stuff in it. But I am a broke grad student, so I can't shop cleanly 100%. I got four of these rice cauliflowers, and let's see. 
So yeah, I love rice cauliflower. I have it almost every week. So whenever I see the plain rice cauliflower, I always stock up. I got four bags. It's $1.50. And I usually like the plain one. I don't like the medleys too much. Uh, the ones that have like peas and carrots because I don't like peas or carrots. Um, the risotto one is okay. I don't mind the risotto one because I do like mushrooms. And the broccoli, they have one that's like broccoli and rice cauliflower. I don't mind that one either, but I prefer just regular rice cauliflower. So I got four. Next up, some unsweetened almond milk. And this is original because in case I needed to use it for recipe, I don't want to be adding the vanilla flavor, which I did before. Oh no, my tomatoes. See, this lady was the way my, my tomatoes all fell. The way she was bagging these i was like it's sus that's why i try to bag my things myself so i got some grape tomatoes because i am making that viral to i'm actually making the legit <laughs> viral one i know in the earlier one i said i'm gonna be making it i didn't really like how that one came out so i am gonna try doing it uh, the usual way so i bought some sweet grape tomatoes and i'm not sure if i'm gonna use all of it or half i think i'm just gonna use all of it and then I got the feta with it. This is the grass-fed barrel-aged Greek feta. It is four dollars, and this is for seven ounces, which is kind of in tune with the uh, Whole Foods version, which is eight ounces for seven ninety-nine or six ninety-nine. But I got the grass-fed one, and I'm gonna use half of this for the feta dish, just because I'm only gonna be making two servings, so I don't need the full. A block so this one is actually like it doesn't expire until like 2022 they said but that's because it's you know age and whatnot so i got that also picked up some small shells i love having every friday some mac and cheese and i love the small shells they're so good when you have braces so if you ever have if you have braces love small shells that yeah, small shells on mac and cheese then i got a laughing cow cheese wedge uh, spicy pepper jack because I use this from time to time and they're also really good if you store them in a the fridge they last pretty long I need a new one and then got some crushed uh, tomatoes I'm gonna be making the tikka masala again next week actually so I needed another can it was so good so delicious oh I forgot to get the stock that's okay I have some in the fridge I wanted it like less thick but it, it really doesn't matter uh, I also got butter spray you know more chemicals I guess soybean oil Flav City talks about that but you know anyways uh, I I love the butter spray on my toast when I have toast lastly let's look in the bag is that it don't know if it is yeah, all I have here left over is the rice, leftover rice cauliflower. So I think, oh, here's a great tomato. See? Ah, that's what, another one. This is why I like bagging my stuff. Some people just dump things in there, and I'm really meticulous, like, OCD level on how I bag. Like, I make sure I'm bagging where it's just proper <laughs> nothing gets spilled nothing gets ripped nothing gets opened up so it's, it's kind of it's kind of annoying but it's my own bag so whatever it, i mean thankfully they're whole and they look good so that's my little quick grocery haul and yeah i'm probably gonna i'm not gonna probably do a new recipe video on the feta uh, feta pasta i'm using hearts of palm pasta by the way i got it at trader joe's but i'm not gonna make a video of it i'll just show i guess maybe of how i'm trying it but yeah that's basically it mini grocery haul i also wanted to quickly add i'm not hating on the grocery store um worker who bagged it i actually do the oh it is dark <laughs> i actually do the amazon a whole foods shopper thing on, on a side uh, that's my side job on many other side jobs so I usually bag groceries things like that so I'm not hating I was just saying like I don't like things just like throwing everywhere I don't do that to customers who shop at Whole Foods I kind of pack strategically but it doesn't really matter thankfully none rip or not rip but 
broke or whatnot or created a mess so it's all good okay guys i just want to end this video i look a mess well you know what i don't look a mess i just woke up and yeah you know so uh i just wanted to you know just put an end to this video i weighed in this past week at 283.8 so, 80 is moving along, you know, and uh, that's a good thing. I really enjoy these looking back on videos. Uh, I think it's nice just to have a video recap of how I'm at at this moment in my life. So, you know, maybe in a couple of years I'll probably like private them, just have them for myself. But yeah, I'm really happy. It's uh, going well. Life is good going fine doing grad school stuff working but I'm hopeful I feel very hopeful for the future right now good good feelings good vibes so I will see you guys all next week bye